There's a legend about how the Cree language will disappear. A curious boy slips into the underworld. A raven helps his mother to find him. He tells her that like her son, her language too will vanish for some time. But the legend promises the Nehiyawawin language will return. Since 2001, Belinda Daniels has been hosting a Cree immersion camp at her home reserve of Sturgeon Lake in Saskatchewan. What began as a project for her master's thesis has become a yearly retreat where for one week participants are encouraged to speak Cree all the time. In the beginning I wanted to do it for, for Cree people like myself who lost the language, who didn't speak the language and I thought okay well there must be more of my, like more of people like me out there. I wanted to figure out what do Cree people mean when they, want, when they speak from a Cree worldview. And that is what was really um, enticing me or intriguing me. I uh, started taking language classes and I started reading a lot of Cree indigenous um, books in regards to knowledge. And I thought, well, I'm still not getting it. And so then I thought, well, how about I just create a Cree camp? with Cree people and getting them to speak Cree. Most participants come with next to no knowledge of the Cree language. During the week, participants connect with nature and Cree culture through activities like singing, storytelling, berry picking, basket weaving, and sweat lodge. Campers practice language drills several times throughout the day, learn songs, stories, and prayers, and listen to stories from elders and teachers in Cree and English. They get a bit of history and they get a bit of like hands-on experience. Um, they also get um, a new perspective in regards to um, our histories and why things are the way they are for, for First Nations peoples. The camp is the only one of its kind in Saskatchewan. About 80,000 people speak Cree as a first language in Canada. While fewer people are speaking it as their mother tongue, more and more people are learning Cree as a second language. We are revitalizing the language, we're restoring it, and it also gives um, like non-Aboriginal people, non-First Nations people, this perspective of um, just how much we know about ourselves and this land and where we come from and what we do. Teachers use different types of sign language to help students learn vocabulary. The instructors come from a number of backgrounds and often return for consecutive years. I'm always on the lookout for which kind of instructors would have something to offer, something unique to offer. For instance, my friend Delvin, he's a lodge keeper, brings lots to the table in regards to uh, spirituality. Um, Saul brings lots with him in regards to linguistics and Daniel says she will continue to do the camp as long as there is demand. For her, keeping the language alive is honoring her culture.
Shout out for joy. Let the day begin. Watch a one escape.